All right, we are here today to talk about MagnaCut steel. MagnaCut's a stainless steel that was developed by Laren Thomas, uh, who has a PhD in metallurgy. Um, he, he developed it for the knife industry itself. What's different about MagnaCut is many of the steels that are used in the knife industry were actually made for other areas in industry, and knife makers just use it because it works well. We got a little bit of noise going on out back because we're building a new building and it sounds like the roofer just started and he's uh, stapling away. So uh, bear with us on that, but we're definitely not gonna stop progress for this video. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the MagnaCut steel uh, was developed by Laren and Laren's the son of the famous knife maker, Devin Thomas, who is really well known for his Damascus steel. Uh, Laren grew up in that family really listening to his dad, who's very smart on metallurgy himself, talk about steels and really the need for a good stainless steel in the knife industry. What makes MagnaCut different is MagnaCut has a high level of toughness that most other stainless steels don't have. And it's really the reason why I've never been a fan of stainless steel and knives, is I, I don't really care if my, my blade um, patinas or rusts a little bit, I want it to perform well and I've never been really happy with the performance of a lot of the other stainless steels that are out there. They're just not tough when you get them in a situation where they're in a bind. There's some reasons why MagnaCut is tougher than the rest of the stainless steels out there and that really gets deep down the rabbit hole of metallurgy, uh, but I'll give you a few, a few things that, that Laren covers in the article uh, that we wrote on our website about MagnaCut. We have found that MagnaCut actually ended up with a surprisingly high corrosion resistance, higher than what Laren originally thought would possi be possible with this steel mix. Most stainless steels have between 14 and 20% uh, chromium levels that help with corrosion resistance, where Laren really only targeted about nine to 13%, right in that middle ground or 11% with this steel. Uh, the way corrosion resistance works in stainless steel is, you know, and the way rust works is you combine iron with oxygen and you get iron oxide that forms on the blade. And that's that coating of a patina or rust that you get on the outside of the steel. And once that forms, that blade pretty much stops rusting or stops you know, getting a patina like the old blades that you see you know, at a flea market or, or in, a, uh, in a pawn shop. Those old patina blades, they look really cool. Well, stainless steel does the same thing with chromium. It combines with the oxygen and it creates a coating on the outside of that steel that helps protect that steel, but it's silver and it looks, it looks shiny and it keeps that, that really nice look without the corrosion uh, or the uh, patina of a carbon steel. For more information on the, the, the mixture of the chromium and the chromium carbides and how that works, read that complete guide to MagnaCut Steel on our website that we have. Laren goes in depth about the why and the how with that stuff that quite frankly, I don't have a PhD in metallurgy and it's, it's why we interview guys like Laren to help out with that steel. I get a lot of questions about what Rockwell hardness do you harden your blades to? And we talked to Laren about that in the article about what Rockwell MagnaCut steel can be heat treated to. You know, and it's anywhere from 59 to like 64. Uh, but really that has more to do with what you're gonna be using the blade for. The harder any steel gets, the more brittle it gets, the less, less toughness we have. It's an inverse scale, high hardness, low toughness. And so we're always trying to find that good middle ground of lots of hardness because that helps with wear resistance, but not too much hardness that leads to low toughness. We want tough blades here at Montana Knife Company. We feel like our hunters need a tough blade in the field. And we also make our knives thinner than almost any knife, in, knife company in the industry. A thinner blade needs to be tougher because that's, the thinner you get, the more brittle they can get if they're too hard. Uh, with MagnaCut steel, that's what's really cool about what Laren developed. He made a stainless steel where we can really walk that line like we have with our 5200 steel uh, that we use in our high carbon stuff with Montana Knife Company. 5200 steel is a great combination of hardness and toughness at a, at a higher hardness, where a lot of stainlesses that are at that hardness level are, have a really low toughness. So the question becomes, how does 5200 and MagnaCut compare? Well, there's two things. One, one probably most important thing right off the bat, 
one's stainless and one's not. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't really like that black blade, or maybe really is worried about a little bit of corrosion on your blade or, or patina, and you just want that really clean silver look, the Magna Cut's definitely for you in, in regards to that. Uh, when it comes to performance in the field, Magna Cut actually has a little more wear resistance, so it will do more cuts before you need to sharpen. That being said, 52100 still beats Magna Cut in the toughness category. So with these small blades, if you're somebody that's really getting in a bind, you're really using your knife hard, maybe even abusing it, that 52100 kind of wins in the toughness category. Um, in regards to Magna Cut and, and, and 52100 with the wear resistance, I wouldn't be too overly concerned with the difference there in, in, in its cutting ability because we're talking about like a catcher test where they're doing very scientific studies about what edge lasts longer or you know compared to one steel or another. I personally don't feel when you're in the field using your knife or you're at work using it cutting open boxes uh, that you're really gonna notice a big difference between 52 and 100 and Magna Cut. Um, I don't think it's a huge sizable difference so I really honestly think this decision comes down to, do you want a stainless blade? Do you like that black look? Do you like that silver look? I don't think with either of these steels that you can go wrong and that one is just clearly better than the other. Uh, but that really depends on your opinion of what's better. Someone who loves a stainless blade and that silver look is gonna clearly love that over the 5200 and vice versa. So, that's kind of our guide with the 5200 and the Magna Cut, especially with the Magna Cut in this video. Uh, it's a phenomenal steel developed by a PhD metallurgist for knife makers and the knife industry. Uh, we love it, I love it, I think it's a phenomenal steel. Cole Kramer uses it on his bears in Alaska. It's one of the best blades he says he's ever used. Um, I think it's a home run by Laren on this steel and, and we're proud to have it in our blades.